What's up you guys? Welcome back to Team APS. Today we've got the Yugi's Legendary Dex 2 product. Now this is a re-release from 2016 that's back on shelves today. It has a Yugi deck, a Kaiba deck, and a Joey deck along with promo cards and the Egyptian gods. We're gonna bust this bad boy open and have some duels. Alright guys, let's uh, bust this bad boy open. Alright, so we have our, uh, our promos. Dark Burning Attack, Secret Rare, Dark Burning Magic, and Eternal Soul. Which I think this was a necessary reprint for Eternal Soul. I don't remember 2016 that well anymore. Now, we get to our decks. I kind of have to start with the Joey deck. That just feels right to me. Blackstone. Red. This is, this is random. It isn't. Okay, this deck is in random, random order. Blackstone Metal, you do need it. Red Eyes Retro Dragon, who's better than the scenes. Black Metal Dragon, the best card. Oh, Axe Raider, Alligator Sword, Baby Dragon. You got some vanillas in here. Jinzo's good. Blue Flame Swordsman is certainly a choice. Phoenix Gear Free. That's, that's not even like a good Gear Free. Up, oh, Gemini, Gemini Summoner, Blaze Wing Butterfly, Dark Valkyria. Up, oh, Generic Warrior Support, Inferno Fire Blast. Now back into Red Eyes cards. Salamander is cer certainly a card. <laughs> the Archfiend of Black Skull, he's cool. Alligator Sword, Dragon. This is not good, but we're gonna work with it. And we get a token card. So the Joey deck is trying to do a little bit of everything that Joey's ever done in his entire life. Uh, it has like your basic Red Eye strategy with the Black Stone and the Flare Metal Dragon, but it's also running like kind of these random Joey cards like Alligator Sword and Jinzo. I mean, you can you can do fusion stuff with those, so I guess that's fine. But then it has like Gemini's in it. I guess because the, fir the first black, the red eye support were Gemini monsters. It really is trying to do a little bit of everything. Uh, this deck certainly masters none of it, but this is truly the Joey experience. So you know what? I'm gonna play this deck. All right, so I'm gonna be playing the Yugi deck in this. This one seems like it's got Sly for the Sky Dragon, but there's also like these promo cards. You so can't I think use those. There's... What? Oh, come on. I should at least get Eternal Soul. I don't get any promos. You don't get any promos. Okay, fine. So I get Sly for the Sky Dragon. Almost the... Oh my god, am I gonna have to play with all three Egyptian gods in my deck? That's fire! Oh man, so you get all the Egyptian gods. Oh, this is that Exodia strategy. The legendary Exodia Incarnate. Oh, so I'm gonna get to play Exodia and the gods. And maybe a little bit of Dark Magician. Oh man, Exodia Necros? What did I sign up for? So this reminds me of like, the Yugi stuff coming out soon. Contract with Exodia to summon my Necros from hand, not even from deck. Gravity Bind and a Yugi token. Pretty cool, okay. This is a lot. I thought this was gonna be a Dark Magician like versus Red Eyes duel. I think now it's actually a Yugi, Gods, Exodia, Dark Magician, many things duel. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Wish me good luck. Okay guys, before we get into the duel, I know you all see this cool Yu-Gi-Oh stuff on the table and wondering how you can get it. Well, thanks to Whatnot for sponsoring this video, we're going to be doing a live stream this Friday, March 29th at 12 p.m. Central Time where you can auction for any of this stuff. I've got all sorts of cool mats. I've got like this Duel Links 4th Anniversary Kaiba Blue Eyes Alternative mat, exclusive remote duel mat, if you remember the 2020 times. I've got just all kinds of really cool ones, like a Black Rose one that I really like. So these are all gonna be on auction. I've got some exclusive Comic-Con mats here. I've got neat deck boxes that actually came from Jim. So like this is the scapegoat deck box or the Graceful Charity. And I've even got these really rare Rescue Rabbit plushes. I know these things are super duper popular. We're gonna actually be giving one of them away during the stream. So all you have to do is head over to Whatnot by following our link in the description. If you sign up with our link, you'll get $15 of credit. And yeah, you can just check out our live stream. Again, that's this Friday, March 29th, 12 p.m. Central Time. Hope to see you there. All right, Duelist. Brooklyn! You ready? Brooklyn. Yeah. Dice roll to see who goes first. Is that six. Like six. Oh, five. you got a five. Wow. Okay, wow. I don't know if I actually want to go first. But yet you are. Oh wait, this is not We're good playing these unsleeved. Cause we're trying to show you guys the fun you can have right out the box. Right. I'll take the first move. I start by activating the gold sarcophagus. Ooh, consistency. I'll banish a card from my deck face up. I'm getting pot of duality. Wow. In two turns, pot of duality will be mine. I activate messenger of peace. Your move, duelist. Wow. Draw for turn. Normal summon my command knight. So all my warrior monsters will gain 400. Oh, wait, that, that puts her over, over the, the 15. Over the threshold. <laughs> That's okay. All right, then I'll set a card face down and because I can't attack, I'll end my turn. I draw you, oh wait, sorry, I draw Joey. 
I pay 100 life points. Okay, I'll set a card face down. And in my turn, draw. Activate Foolish Burial. Black Stone of Legend the Grave. Set a monster face down and end my turn. I draw. My gold sarcophagus returns pot of duality to my hand. I also have to pay 100 life points to maintain my messenger of peace. I can't stand that this only costs 100 life points. Pot of duality. So I'll reveal the top three cards of my deck. Add one to my hand. I can't special summon the turn I use this. Dark factory of mass production. That's a good card. Mirror force. Ba I'm getting the dark factory of mass production to my hand. Mm. Activate. Obliterate. I target this, and then I'll return that card to the hand. I send my left arm of the Forbidden One to the graveyard from my deck to return your face down monster in the field to the hand. I end my turn to us. Draw for turn. I'll tribute my Command Knight for Jinzo. What the heck? I can't use my obliterate anymore. I, uh, end my turn. I was, that's why I got my dark factory. Because <laughs> I could slowly. You got one piece, so. I draw, oh my god. <laughs> Don't forget about your messenger. Yeah, I have to pay. Your move, duelist. Guys, I'm going to win by burning him out with messenger of peace. Draw. This is an awful duel. <laughs> <laughs> Normal yeah, summon. Man. Baby dragon! Oh no fair. 1200 attack. <laughs> Baby attacks, 12. Now I can't keep this up for 80 turns. <laughs> <laughs> end my turn. I draw. Oh my lord. I end my turn. <laughs> <laughs> draw! I will normal summon my red eyes retro dragon who does not really do anything. Enter battle. Battle entered. Baby dragon attack. Now my turn. Draw. I set a monster face down in my field, Dewis. I also set this card and end my turn. All right. Draw for turn. Baby dragon attack his face down. You attack my marshmallow on. Oh my god. This thing can't be destroyed, right? And you take 1,000 damage because it got flipped face up. I'll normal summon Dark Valkyria and I'll end my turn. What's she doing? She's a Gemini summon. It can gain uh, counters. It gains attack for having counters, but it can also remove a spell counter to target a monster on a field and destroy I it. I draw and pay 100. Set and pass. Right. Yugi's deck sucks. Draw. Yugi, like, this is crap. <laughs> Yugi's deck has no offense I don't want to hear that. I'm playing Joey. And like actually taking the reins in this duel, <laughs> which is a shame. All right, so I'm going to Gemini summon my Dark Valkyria, removing to target Marshmallow. <sighs> All right, Baby Dragon, attack. You attack Big Shield Guard. Wow. You take 1,400. I'll only read his effect. You're lucky the rest of them can't attack. I am. I'll pass. I'll draw. Oh, switch to defense. I'm so close to being able to do something. Your move. What is this sick defensive strategy? Draw. We're going to activate Red Eyes Fusion. Oh, dear. Red Eyes Black Dragon. My Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning. To summon Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. I'm going to activate my Inferno Fire Blast. Oh, what the hell? So this is a Red Eyes B Dragon because of Red Eyes Fusion's effect. So, I can inflict damage to you equal to its original attack, which is 3200. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna die from this. You end your turn? Yes. I draw for turn. I pay 100. I'll set a card face down to and end my turn. Alright, draw for turn. Let's use the effect of my Black Stone of Legend. I can shuffle in a level 7 Aurora Red Eyes monster from my graveyard to the deck and then add my Black Stone to hand. We'll shuffle in the Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning. Baby Dragon will attack. You attack. Exodia the Forbidden One. Wow. I'll pass. I'll draw. I'll set and pass. And I'll draw. Baby Dragon attack. You attack the left leg of the Forbidden One. This man is getting all the pieces engraved. Yeah, eventually maybe I'll be able to get him back somehow. Uh-oh. Because I'm at seven cards in hand, I'll set a card face down then my turn. Okay. I draw. I pay 100. Activate spell card. Dark Factory of Mass Production. Is it happening? No, oh, okay. but I am going to get these two Exodia pieces back. Normal summon, left leg of the Forbidden One. I'm very confused. Now I activate Magical Dimension. Oh, wow. I'll target my left leg, tribute it. Special summon a spellcaster from my hand. If, if you summon the left arm, oh my god! <laughs> and then destroy Jinzo! Wow! That's right, duelist. And Not that bad. means my traps are live again. Hey, that means mine are too. Now now I can use my obliterate. Activate burst breath in response. So I'm going to tribute a dragon monster and destroy all face up monsters whose defense 
is less than or equal to its attack. All face up monsters, even yours? Yeah. I set one card face down in my turn. And I'll draw for turn. Normal summon the black metal dragon and attack you directly. I'll use obliterate on your attack. Target him. All right. Send my right arm. Oh, it gets sent to my hand, right? To your hand, yeah. Then I will set one card face down and my turn. Draw. Your move duels. Wow. So this doesn't play anything. <laughs> oh, I forgot to pay. I'll set a monster face down and end my turn. I draw. I'll special summon the Tricky by discarding a card. It's my tricky. thousand knives. Hope you're ready, duelist. For what? For the secret village of the spellcaster. Your move. Did I pay for that this turn? I think I did. I think you did. Cause you said, right. you said I remember at the beginning of the turn you said. Uh, yeah. All right, your move. Sure. <sighs> all right. You get that is stupid. God, I hate this. Like this. I, I don't, like, I don't like playing this You're way. the one subjecting me to this. This is your I would have picked Kaiba if you I didn't know You did this, this is your better. fault. Well, anyways, Duelist, it's time for you to deliver us from this evil. How? By winning. How? Or conceding. No. All right, I'm going to set a monster face down and my turn. I will never concede. We're, we're going to sit here. I'm going to draw with this As dude. we play with Yugi's legendary decks. I pay. You know what? I don't pay. He's finally going to end our pain, y'all. I'm letting Messenger of Peace go. I'm making this decision for myself. Let's go. Normal summon, block man. Oh, we getting aggressive. Attack with the tricky on this monster. You hit my blazing butterfly. And block man attacks your face down. Keeper of the shrine. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got to take 100. I really couldn't <laughs> afford that. <laughs> Set one and main phase two and pass. Draw for turn. I'll normal summon time wizard. Uh, Wait just a moment, duelist. I might have something for that. I mean, you can. I mean, you can bounce it to my hand. I'll just keep trying to do this over and over again. You know what, duelist? If it's going to come down to this, it's going to come down to this. Flip your coin. I'll call Tails. Tails! No! So your monsters are destroyed. Now, now the only issue is I know Mirror Force is back there. I mean, there's also this. I mean, and yet, yeah, yeah. So like, it puts me in a, in a bit of a spot. So I can't, I can't play around both of them. Time Wizard attack. You gotta do something. Mirror Force. Yeah. I'll end my turn. I'll draw. You're a move, Duelist. To draw for turns. Normal summon Black Metal Dragon. Attack you directly. Activate Trap Guard Magic Cylinder. You know what? Now, I'm not gonna try and end this game at all. <laughs> just for that, just for that, I'm gonna try and slow this down. Set a card phase down, I'll end my You don't card. have any stall cards. So I haven't used them yet. Draw, Duelist. I set. And then I tribute my set monster to special summon the legendary Exodia Incarnate. Is that how that works? I special summon it from my hand by tributing a forbidden one monster. But it was face down. I can do that. Okay, I guess so. Tribute my right leg to summon the legendary Exodia Incarnate. Okay. And now prepare for your demise I'm because here's sure. what it does. It gets a thousand attack for each forbidden one monster in my graveyard. There are currently five doors. It's unaffected by other cards effects. Once per turn during my end phase, I can add a Forbidden One monster from my grave to my hand. And when this gets destroyed by Battle into the grave, I can reveal any number of Forbidden One monsters in my hand and draw a card for each. Attack Black Metal Dragon. Black Metal's effect will activate when sent from field to the graveyard. It'll add a Red Eyes card from deck to hand. I'm gonna add this uh, Black Flare Dragon in there. Just in case you're trying anything funny, I activate Swords of Revealing Light. Oh, you ain't right. I'll go to the end phase. Legendary Exodia Incarnate. Yo, this is dumb. I get Exodia the Forbidden One from my grave to my hand. Now he goes down to 4,000. You're moving to us. I hate it. In just four more turns, you'll be dead. Draw for turn. All right, let's set one, and then I'll set a card face down and end my turn. I draw. The legendary Exodia Incarnate can now attack you. But maybe I don't want to, Duelist. You know why? Sure. Because I can just end my turn and get another Exodia piece back. Your move. I'll draw. I'll set a monster face down, I'll end my turn. Draw. Attack your Keeper of the Shrine. All right, go to my end phase. I'll get my left arm back to my hand. Your move, Duelist. The legendary Exodia Incarnate time. will not be denied his victory. I'll set a card face down, and I'll end my turn. Swords Revealing Light goes to the grave. I draw Duelist. The legendary Exodia Incarnate will attack your face down monster. You hit my Axe Raider. Set. And go to my end phase. I have to add another Exodia piece to my hand. I'll activate a Red Eye Spirit. Target a Red Eyes in my graveyard and special summon it. Targeting my Black Skull Dragon. In phase, I'll discard Obelisk the Tormentor and the Dark Magician Girl. Your move. Draw for turn. I'll normal summon Valkyrian Knight. I'll enter battle. I'm going to activate my Obliterate. Obliterate targets Archfiend Black Skull Dragon to return it to the hand by discarding my left leg of the Forbidden One. 
My Valkyrian Knight attacks your Exodia. Damage calculation. Kunai with chain. What? Increase attack by 500. That's going to be game. What did you just do, <laughs> Duelist? That was my Exodia Incarnate. Yep, that's exactly 400 damage. I'm upset with you, Duelist. No, I'm upset with you. I'm upset <laughs> with you. <laughs> you. I can't believe that you oh stopped my God. the legendary Exodia Incarnate. You had, you had Not possible. Super Village. Well, I, I chain so many the tricky spell for it. I don't have a tricky. <laughs> <laughs> I realize with this card, I can send any Exodia card. I'd have to be sending pieces. I could have sent dead ass Exodia fucking oh, Necros, Necros and contract with Exodia. Oh. And I could have been bouncing with that. I'd stop bouncing. I was like, oh, well, I don't want them to all be in the grave. I have one so I can tribute for that. I could have won this duel. And yet you lost. Well, good game, duelist. GG. Good game. Yeah, I was just gonna try, my goal was to try and burn you out. I was like, I gotta figure out a way to get this burn on if I can. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this duel. It was a fun time, I like to think. You just said how you don't like the deck at all. I didn't. I'm <laughs> trying to be optimistic here, but that's a little bit of a sneak peek or a look at what you can get in this totally not recycled product, Legendary Dex 2. Next time, we'll let the hellish fun continue as we duel with like, I don't know, Seto Kaiba's Blue Eyes versus one of these decks. Probably Red Eyes, because I don't think anyone can bear to play this any longer. The fun of this deck is just the sheer amount of anime cards you get to run. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to tune into our Whatnot stream on March 29th at 12 p.m. Central Time. That's right, that's this Friday. We're going to be selling some stuff, auctioning it off. The first one was really cool, so... There'll even be some giveaways. Yeah, I hope to see you guys there. Link's in the description. All right, next time, best turn. turn.